Joining us now from the Berlin Social Research Center is Wert Kanzler. My first question is, do you actually drive an electric car? Yes, uh, I did. Uh, sometimes as a car sharing cars we have in Berlin, we have a lot of electric cars in the car sharing fleet. Obviously, we're finally seeing popularity growing a little. The electric car is catching on, but is it going to become a mainstay of, of, of um, our traffic around the world in, in global centers? I think uh, we need a lot of years to see that, that the electric car will be the main uh, vehicle. Uh, but in the next years, we will see it as a part of fleets, of uh, innovative fleets, of car sharing fleets in uh, big cities in, um, and this, this, this has sense because they, you have not so long distances, mm. you have not the problem of uh, find um, um, electric uh, utilities to, to charge and so on. So you have the infrastructure in towns and in big cities. So uh, I think it will be a phenomenon of fleets in the next years. Now, the German government aims to get a million of these vehicles onto the streets. If we take a look at the numbers, you can see there's been a sudden spike in interest this year, just this year from consumers, but it's still a long way from that one million mark. Are we going to get to that one million mark? I think we need uh, two steps. The first step is we need user advantages mm -hmm. for zero emission cars. So free parking, for example, for zero emission cars in cities, that's the one step. The second step is we need uh, incentives to converse fleets, you know, fleets like authority fleets and um, firm fleets, uh, delivery fleets, fleets who, which uh, cars need not so much uh, range. You can converse it into the electric fleets uh, very fast, but you need tax incentives, for example. Okay, well, on the question of tax incentives, free parking, is it a must for governments to get these electric cars onto the road to reduce carbon dioxide emissions? That's the one reason, to reduce carbon dioxide emissions, and the other reason to promote it, uh, that will be the next step of automobile uh, development. So you need this as an industry policy, uh, not only Germany, uh, Japan, Korea, the US as well. So it's a question of industry policy. But as far as the technology goes, the three big questions still remain. How far, how fast and how much? As in how much do these cost? Because they're expensive, these cars, aren't they? How fast can they, can they go and how far can they go? Um, they cost a lot more than conventional cars, of course, mm. but they need uh, less uh, money for, um, for their energy, of course. Mm. It's uh, half of the price of energy um, for electric vehicles. How fast? They, are, uh, they can be fast, but they should not be fast, because if you are fast, on an electric vehicle, you need much more energy. Okay. So you have a uh, slow, um, um, you need electric vehicles in the city and that you don't need to be fast. So. Yeah. And there's also the image problem to fight against. Also from industry, uh, VW chief executive Martin Winterkorn said that the E-Up is an innovative second car. Yes, but you know, we have a big second car market. Mm -hmm. So uh, that could be a good idea to, to deliver this cars in this second, market, second uh, car market. And the other point is we need new cars for inner city uh, areas, for big cities all over the world, in Asia, for example, in South America. And uh, the comp competitor of Volkswagen, BMW, has a quite different uh, philosophy. Mm -hmm. They will deliver such new cars for these big cities in Asia and in South America. Okay, Mr. Councillor, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much.